What's going on guys, SP Architects here. Today we are going to create basket view facade in ArchiCAD. Since we have created villa facade tutorial in the previous video, I've decided to continue with modeling facade tutorials. So today's topic is basket view facade. I hope you will enjoy the time that we spend together. Alright then, let's jump into the tutorial. Alright, we are in the ArchiCAD and at the very first I want to create our roughly building. Since it was a commercial building, we are going to use curtain wall. Let's go to its settings. Go to scheme. And as you can see here, I prepared a panel something like this. This created together from scratch. I'm going to hit this cross and our height will be 350, our width will be 1 meter glass and 90 centimeters solid panel. But the important thing is we are going to change these fixed sizes. Also this one. Now we can organize our panel. We are going to select our top and bottom edges and change none to Malian or transom. And also we are going to separate this. This will continue as a pattern. So this part will going to be starting position for the left side. So we need to place a transom or mallion on this edge too. Now we can select our deleted panel and change it to distinct panel. And this one going to be main panel. Main panel means glass and this distinct panel means solid. We can change it from our panel tab. Now we are going to leave them as is and click OK. Our facade will be 1800 centimeters. And in the 3D window, we will see this. We can make this 10 level. So we can change this value to 35. So it will be an integer. In order to model something like this, we need to take help from our elevations. So if we go to ground floor, we can see our east elevation looking to this direction. So we can use this. I want to see my old story from this east elevation. So I'm going to change the story settings. and click insert above. Now we can see all of our story. Let's presume that our basket view thickness is going to be 30 or 40 centimeters thickness. Hence we can create a line and this line will be 30 centimeters far away from our facade. And we will start creating our zigzag lines. I need to find our center point. Therefore, I'm gonna create a line just like that and find my midpoint. And I'm gonna duplicate throughout all of the building with Ctrl plus U array. After that, I can start to creating my zigzag. Once I have created first, I can array all of them. And after that, we can delete those lines. There we go. Now we are going to select all of the remaining lines and we are going to click our chamfer. It's going to be filled and radius, I'm not sure, we are going to test it out. For instance, 2 meters. Maybe we can increase that value. 3 meters. 
for maybe four meters. Four meters and fifty centimeters. Once more, let's try five meters. Yeah, we can use this one. Once we have changed all of them, we will go to edit and reshape, unify, and it's a spline now. After we achieve this, we will copy and paste into ground floor. After that, we will click our shell and change construction method to detailed and we hit spacebar and click the extrusion then will be equal with our solid panel so it's going to be 90 and direction will be reverse and thickness will be 30 Now we will go to south elevation and see our shell. Yeah, it's here and rotate. Let's just click clip button again or let's undo, move to ground floor. In the ground floor we will rotate an additional 180 centimeters and place here. Let's control it in the east elevation and move to its original place there you go if you want to change the thickness you can always do it yeah i think we are going to use this panel not on the glass all right, let's go to ground floor again. We are going to duplicate our first panel and rotate as additional 180 centimeters. And we will match them just like that. We can take help from our elevation. This edge will be end on the axis of this edge or in front of the panel now in the ground floor we will just move this to next solid panel and as you can see now we have our pattern and now we will duplicate them throughout all the building there we go now we know how to do it and we are going to repeat this as horizontal first we are going to create our first line and offset this an additional 30 centimeters and after that, we will find their midpoints. But how? I think we can create additional lines. Just like that. And array. Now we can find our midpoints. As you can see, our panel is starting in the middle of the frame
not here to here. I think we will increase the thickness of our offsets, maybe 15 centimeters more. I think we will delete this line and make this mirror. Let's just delete our offsets too. Select all of the lines. Go to chamber. Click OK. No, it's too much. Let's try 450. Nope. 400. Yeah, it's working. Unify. And phone story will be 0. Hit space and click. Maybe we need 5 cm more in the ground floor. We can move it as additional 5 cm. Yeah, it's done. Now we will duplicate to second floor. It's working. It's just array. Elevate. Set home story by elevation. 350. And finish the facade. There we go. We have created our basket view facade in Archicad. Now you know how you can do this. You can create different pattern types of yourself. For instance, I'm gonna select all of the facade with Ctrl plus G and in the ground floor I will uncheck the suspect groups, copy, rotate, this input here 90 and place here. Or you can place by matching your facade elements. Alright, this is how you can create basket B facade in Archicad. I hope you have enjoyed with this tutorial. If so, please hit the like button. It's going to help this channel with YouTube algorithms. So you will be helping the channel. And do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. Also, I have a Patreon page. With that page, you can download this project file and also my other project files. And also you can reach more additional Archicad tutorials, different libraries, projects and much more. If you want to cooperate with me, you can reach me from SP Architect Official. And also if you have questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.